Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is DFree and for today's video we're going to be going ahead and doing a live gameplay guide and basically giving you guys the rundown of how matches go and the things that you need to know and look out for. Everything about spells, traps, monster effects, attack, defense position, all of that stuff. You guys probably already know to a degree because you played through the tutorial when you downloaded the game. But if you haven't played through the tutorial, maybe you skipped it, you haven't downloaded the game, you just want to know what the gameplay is like. I'm going to show you and explain everything and give you guys some experience and some tips uh, as it pertains to that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. We have other videos like a beginner guide. We have uh, the best ace monsters. We have a discussion about the pay to win aspects of this game and a lot of different things coming. So stay tuned for that. And uh, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about the game thus far if you have started playing so this game you can already see is very very different i'm going to turn off two times speed which you do get from playing pve content by the way i'm going to turn off two times speed and uh, this game is very different from anything Yu-Gi-Oh centric this is not a Yu-Gi-Oh game it's another game with a Yu-Gi-Oh skin on it basically that's pretty much what this is i digress it does still use Yu-Gi-Oh monsters etc anyways so the general layout is as follows each player this is for, for the record there are nothing, there's nothing less than just four-way matches. Um, there's, well, there's technically tags, but there's always four players. There's no 1v1s or anything like that. So each player has three monster zones and three trap zones. You cannot set any spells. You cannot play spells or activate spells outside of the battle phase, okay? We'll get to there in a minute, but we're currently in the main phase. Right now, I have a partner with me. Um, as you see, each lane goes in different directions. If I were to play Avion here, he would make his way down the lane with Kaiba. Center lane would be going to Jaden, and the right lane would go to Chaz. Obviously, you can play a monster in attack or defense position. Do note that you can play as many monsters per turn as you like. There is no conditions. You can play whatever, whenever you want. I would advise against going all in a little too early because, you know, you could run out of mat of resources in matches or whatever. Now, in ranked matches, the center zone right there, that circle in the center, will have a card. The card is typically going to be one of, there's only like five possibilities, but that card is going to be a Monster Reborn, a Ring of Destruction, a Dark Hole, a Mirror Force, and I think there's something else. That might be all of them, but there's something else. Um, and basically, most people in ranked are going to try to rush down that center lane with a hyper speed character like Avion here, who I played has a skill that allows him to traverse the map and go down those lanes faster than normal. So everybody in ranked matches goes straight down the center to try to get that card for the most part. There is some strategy in deciding whether or not you want to do that. Maybe you have a different thing in mind. But those cards, Monster Reborn, etc., are cards you cannot own individually. You only are getting them from that. Dark Hole, I don't know if I mentioned that, but Dark Hole is incredibly powerful. It destroys all monsters in a lane. Like it's there are some really powerful stuff. <laughs> so you would I would I would advise you to go get that stuff. So now we're in the battle phase. The battle phase, as you see, has enabled Rush recklessly to activate. You can only activate spells during this battle phase, uh, during a battle phase. So Monster Reborn, like I mentioned, if you want to revive a monster, it's during the battle phase. If you have uh, equip cards or whatever, there's no equip. There's no quick play, equip. None of, the, none of that's here, okay? It's just basically spells are just supplementary. You activate them during the battle phase. Some of them will have different conditions, but most of them are just here to give your monsters effects, basically or to have an effect resolve to deal with other opponents, reduce their attack, whatever the case is. Um, but yeah, it's very, very simple when it comes to spells. Like I said, there is no uh, quick play, continuous. They don't go on the field. They just activate from your hand. And they never touch the field, actually. Um, it's just very simple. It's nothing like regular TCG. Traps, on the other hand, uh, they actually do have their zones. Like I said, there's three trap zones. So Avion moves so quick. He got all the way across before this cross battle happened here. So the monsters are taking place. They've clashed. There were some battles that concluded there. And you see, you might have noticed, you might have noticed, but the monsters lose attack or defense if they're in defense position. Uh, and then they go from there and they proceed with their battles. Burstinatrix is now at a whopping 200 attack. This game, basically the monsters have their own life points, if you will. Um, and the, the the number that they have is deducted from the attack or defense. If the monster's in def defense position, that, that, that counts too. Um, that number is deducted, basically. So I'm going to actually play Sparkman here in defense mode. 
so I can show you what will happen when uh, Bersinatrix actually attacks there. There's no life point damage like the card game uh, when you you know, you know attack an attack position monster. They, there's none of that, right? The only way you're dealing life point damage to another monster is with a pierce effect like Fairy Meteor Crush or monsters have a skill sometimes, something similar to that. We drew a trap. We're going to set Shield Handler, and we're going to play you here. Notice I'm avoiding going down Kaiba's lane on the left. If I were to play a monster there, it would make its way down, and there would never be any battles or whatever if, like, he plays something else. What would happen in that far left lane going towards Kaiba is that my monster, if he plays something down there coming towards me, it's always a 500 LP recovery. Me and him have the exact same life points in this tag duel scenario. Now, in a, in a non-tag duel, which is most of the matches you're going to play in ranked, uh, all of them, <laughs> that's different. That's a whole other lane, just like the Jaden and Chaz ones where it functions that way, right? There's no healing there or whatever. Okay, so we're going to see what happens with battles defensively, and I'll explain, if you don't understand the way that the math works on battles, after this battle phase, I will explain it a little bit more clearly, okay? Because the battles are the most, as you would imagine, the most important thing. He gains attack when he's summoned because he has that skill there. If you're not familiar with what skills are, Monsters are effect are normal monsters. You just basically unlock effects and give them whatever effects you want. Uh, well, whatever's available to them. But yeah, like Bersinatrix and Sparkman are not normal, as you see. They have effects. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hit ready because I have no spells to activate. Traps activate when the condition is met. Okay, so there's a battle there. Uh, Avion's dead. The two ally monsters are not gonna battle. The Wing Rebo is not gonna battle there. Bersinatrix died. Okay, so yeah, allies, if that was, uh, again, a, a non-tag duel, there would be a battle where the ring Rebo and the X-Head is, but that's not happening there. So as you saw, Burstinatrix died, her attack was deducted from my defense on Sparkman, and now I can actually flip Sparkman to attack mode and have him traverse down the lane. Monsters will not make their way down the lane under any condition unless they're in attack position. Okay, unless there's a spell that forces them down or whatever, when in which in which uh, in most case I've never seen that in the game it's like yet. So who knows what happens later? Also, I cannot change monsters that have already started down their lane like my Ram Clouder. I can't change them to defense mode. Okay, there's no flexibility with that. Once you start down the lane, they are stuck in attack mode unless something like an enemy controller forces them to switch to defense mode, which they would be able to in the lane in that situation, but that's it. And in that scenario, you can change them back to attack mode whenever you start your next main phase, but they're stuck in that position. I said I'd explain the, the math on it. Basically, uh, like I said, they have their own life points. So if the X-Head was to battle Karibo, they would destroy each other. If I were to battle Karibo, he has 300 attack without any buffs, and I have 1,800. His 300 would get subtracted, lowering me down to 15. And then if I were to battle again, so on and so forth, when I hit zero, I am destroyed. Notice, like I said, they have defensive stats as well. The same applies to their defense. Whenever their defense hits zero, then they're destroyed, obviously. Uh, but you can use it, like I just did, to pop a monster off the board if you can defend adequately and then flip to attack mode and then make your way down. So I'm going to play him here just so I can have him for next turn where we'll cover tributes. Uh, but let's go ahead and start things off. Okay, so he played his ace monster. Okay. Okay. I have the voice effects off, but he would be talking right now. <laughs> All right. So we got Neos popping in. Looks super clean. The graphics are awesome. I love it. Love it. All right. So Neos popped in with three skills. Um, if you're not familiar, though, um, non-ace monsters only can have one skill in PvP, but here they can have as many skills as they want. Well, as many as are available. Okay. Okay. All right, so he activated Horn of the Unicorn. Again, normally in the card game, that would be a equip spell, which he would activate in the main phase. In this game, again, that doesn't exist, so he just activated it here. He used it to buff my monster. That's something you could do, obviously, in and out of tag duels. You can use cards to grant effects or do things to any monster on the board, assuming there's no condition like only your monster. So I would sometimes do something like that if I want to make sure that the opponents that are about to battle, if I want to make sure a certain monster gets off the board in a four-way match, um, I would buff up the weaker one and then make sure that that happens. You know, you can the strategy to the way that you would play these things. Anyways, let's go ahead and commence with the battle phase. 
And we're going to actually battle Neos, who has 1,500 attack. I guess he used the speedy summon. He didn't use any tributes. We gain attack for the battle. Sparkman beats Neos. What? <laughs> There's no skyscraper on the board. He has an effect to add him back to the hand. By the way, there are no field spells either, if that wasn't clear. I mean, maybe in the future, but there aren't now. Okay, those two are resolving different effects. One of them forced him to, to from defense to attack, and the other one, <laughs> there was a heal there. The other one uh, reduced the attack, right? So that was funny to see. Anyways, so we drew Battle Mania. I kind of don't really care about the traps in this deck. When your monster battles... When your monster battles an opponent's defense monster, you gain Provoke, which flips them to attack. Yeah, I don't really need much. I'm going to play Neos here. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I'll use the skill to do one tribute instead of two. It's time to start trying to win the match. I haven't tried to win the match so far. I've been more focused on playing cards in certain positions like Magolem to try to explain stuff to you. Let's go ahead and actually turn on two times because I've done pretty much everything that we need to. I've explained pretty much the general gist of it. Um, at the end of the eight turns, whoever has more eight LP is the winner, obviously. Uh, in this situation, we're in a tag situation, so both parties have, uh, you know, their their life points are together. My Battle Mania activated for Sparkman, forcing him into attack mode. Sparkman gained attack. As well, but still lost. Wasn't strong enough to beat that other Sparkman. But forcing it into attack mode made it weaker for the rest of this match. Because it couldn't sit in defense mode and eat the damage there. Um, I would ideally like to flip Neos to defense mode. But again, I can't do that. He's kind of just stuck. I can't do anything for Neos. I might actually mess around and lose this match. Because I spent so long just trying to explain stuff. Oh, great. Oh, great. Is he going to... Please don't choose me. That's like the antithesis of my video. He's going to totally choose me, isn't he? Oh, he chose Kaiba. Cool. It's not that it's cool. Kaiba has a freaking Neos in his face. Hmm. Select the monster with super speed. It gains attack. That's not doing anything for me. I'll give it to... I can give it to the freaking enemy Neos. No. Let's go there. Make you stronger. Maybe Kaiba's trap will help him deal with that Ojima King. Kaiba's running my other deck. My, re my, my regular PvP deck. But uh, the game doesn't know how to use it. Okay, Neos is going to get popped here. Terrible. <laughs> but he does return. Thank you. All right. I'm going to shift focus. Ah... Uh, I'm going to just stay here. This is why I said you don't want to go all in with your monsters too early. Because I'm kind of stuck in a position where I don't have cards to play. And Kaiba's really stuck. We actually might just lose here, ironically. I spent so long trying to explain. The Ojima King probably just wins this game here. Because Kaiba's locked down. If you watched my best Ace Monsters video, I explained that Ojima King in and of himself is not all that good. Because you need to be able to play offensively. But he is good in a, in a tag format. <laughs> All right, we get extra draws. When you hit turn seven and eight, you get extra draws. I'm not going to sacrifice because he's already halfway through the map. Does he have slowdown, though? Looks like he does. Immobile. Oh, great. I have no choice but to get him out of here. Okay. I need to make my way down. I've got to get some life point damage because we just won't be able to play this game without any. We're just going to lose. The Ojima King stall. It's too strong, man. Too strong. It shut Kaiba down for two turns, basically. Okay, we take some burn damage. Thanks, Bersinatrix. Enemy controller. Why would... Why? Well, I understand why he didn't use it on Neos, because Neos is going to die. But I just wish he would have done it to somebody else. Like, or saved it. Thanks, AI. I didn't even play a monster down that lane. Jaden's Battle Mania. That's cute. Flipped into attack, right? Yep. And he had reinforcements. Wow, Neos is not going out, out without a fight. 
<laughs> that Neos is not going out without a fight. Okay, and he went back to the hand. I'm going to go down really quickly here. Not fast enough, though. Hmm. Extra draw. <sighs> we have to do this. Let's play Gaia. Wait, what? I can... Oh, no, okay. Gaia's going to give super speed. So Neos is going to get down really fast. Interesting. It's a shame that you're just now playing him. It's a little too late, Kaiba. It's a little too late. It would be great if it transferred the skill to my character, but it doesn't. So Neos is going to hit the Bersinatrix. Detonate. That's not great. So that'll reduce my Neos' power whenever the battle commences. Neos should be able to hit directly, right? Oh my god, he's so much weaker. Oh my god, he's at 1300. That's pointless. <laughs> Gaia. <laughs> Got one fight, couldn't do anything else. Heal. No, we're going to lose! Yep. Yeah, Neos didn't have Pierce, so he wouldn't hit directly. Yeah, we lost. We ran out of turns. So that's the ultimate end game. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing losing to PvE to the PvE bosses. I don't <laughs> that hasn't happened to me. So it's really embarrassing. But <laughs> I hope you guys learned what you needed to learn. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I didn't have anything. It was just kind of stuck. And it was too late. And the freaking Ojima King popped up and he just shut down Kaiba and I was by myself. And then Kaiba's trying to play his ace monster at the end. But it doesn't matter because <laughs> there's no other monsters that are far, far along on the board. So, <laughs> all right. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see all of you next time. Click on one of the videos on the screen as well.